Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new projector that just hit our channel. We've been testing this out for about three weeks now. And what I can tell you is that this projector has made us wanna watch shows that we had previously watched all over again because we wanted to enjoy all the new detail that we can see in the image quality. This projector supports Dolby Vision. And I have to tell you, it brings out the best on all the movies that you've seen before. We're talking about the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro. And I'm telling you guys, this has me super excited. Nilda and I have been watching, binge watching a lot of our favorite shows, a lot of our favorite movies because of the overall video quality that you can get from this projector. Now, we expect that there's a lot of improvements coming to this projector because this is a first look. But I have to say that this is an amazing first look. So let's talk about the specs and then we'll go into the actual projector itself. You can see it close up. We'll look at some of the video quality, which you're actually seeing right now. And we're going to go over why you'd want to consider this as your next home theater. Now, as I mentioned, this can be used in any room of your home. And we actually have it in our living room, which we know is a little bit larger than most. But we've also run it in our studio, which is small. We're talking about around six feet by eight feet. And we've been able to enjoy amazing video experiences with this. So literally, you're going to be able to use this in any room of your home as long as you have a wall. And you have maybe 10 inches from the wall or a little bit more. Bottom line is, the further away from the wall, the larger the image. So let's talk about the specs. First of all, you have a 4K UHD UST projector. And UST stands for Ultra Short Throw Projector. The Ultra Short Throw Projectors, depending on how many inches you are from the wall, you're going to be able to get an image that is anywhere from 80 to 150 inches. Think about how spectacular that is. The image that you see right here is actually on a 120 inch screen and the projector is no more than inches from the wall and we'll show you that as well. Now this is a RGB pure triple laser. So you're gonna get the best colors out of this and not just the best colors, but you're also gonna get the best contrast as well. It has 3000 ANSI lumens and again has HDR 10 plus. Now for me, one of the things that excited me the most was having Dolby Vision on a projector. And we've been seeing a lot of projectors uh, that don't have that. And I'm telling you, when you see one that does, it automatically really transforms the way you consume content. Not only that, but it also has a mode that allows you to see the movie the way the, I would say, the director intended it. Now, most movies, if not all, are shot at 24 frames per second. This projector has a 24 frames per second mode that's going to give you, again, that cinematography or that view that the, I would say that the director expected when they were filming the movie. It also supports 3D, cinematic 3D, and you'll need those some 3D active rechargeable glasses uh, in order to be able to see this. And this is pretty common with uh, 3D movies. But I will say that our experience on 3D content has been as amazing as it's been with Dolby Vision. Now, we've been talking about Dolby a lot. So this has Dolby 2 HD Atomos. It has also DTS HD Master Audio. Now, from a connectivity perspective, you have a lot of connectivity. You have three HDMIs with eARC support. So you want to get your audio out of this. And I have been testing it with um, our audio platform. You also then have two game modes. And this is also something that I find unique. Now, it also has two gaming modes. Uh, one, 15 milliseconds at 4K, 60 hertz. And one at 8 milliseconds, 1080p, 120 hertz. So for those of you who are really into gaming and want to have, you know, that uh, reactive trigger action that when you push the button, the screen and the game uh, actually reacts uh, very close to near time, then this is going to give you that experience. Now, because this does support Dolby Vision, they do include a Fire TV stick 4K Max Wi-Fi 6 version. So I'll tell you, I've never seen a Fire Stick look so good. But at our house, not only do we use uh, Fire TV, but we also use the actual NVIDIA Shield. And the NVIDIA Shield doesn't stay behind. Fantastic, amazing video quality. We're talking about rich, deep blacks. You're also looking at the reddest reds. The saturation of the colors is absolutely spectacular. And you're hearing me hype this projector, but this is not hype. This is just an amazing experience of how excited we are to test this product out. Now, the other thing that we'll talk about is that it also has a lot of smart home features as well that are going to allow you to control this projector. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the projector. We'll look at the video quality, we'll see the performance, and hopefully you'll share in the excitement that I have with this Rue projector.
Now, one other thing I wanted to mention is that this projector does support 3D, and there are some 3D glasses that you can acquire. Uh, these are going to be battery powered, right? So these are active 3D glasses. And just to give you a sense of what these look like, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Uh, this is what they're going to look like, All right? Uh, they're not like the ones that you find in the theater that you just put on. And I'm going to put on these glasses back on because you can, and I have, worn what my glasses. Just for those of you who are glass wearers and are curious, this is what it's going to look like. So the 3D content that you're getting from the projector is actually spectacular. It cannot compare to what you get at the uh, theater, right? Those are not active glasses, but these with the AWOL are spectacular. Now, the size of the projector is pretty well suited. It's not too large, it's not too small, and it fits well on my console. And I have to say, a lot of people, when they come over to the house, they don't even recognize that it's a projector until they try to figure out how I'm projecting such a large TV. And they learn, wow, that's your projector. They don't even recognize that it's a projector until they try to figure out, how is it that I'm projecting such a large TV? And then they learn, wow, that's a projector. So you can see when you just look at it, it looks very similar to the previous versions, like the 3500s, which we have. And now this one is the 3000 Pro. They look very similar. And I like that. Now, on the back of the projector, you're going to notice that you do have many compartments. One is your fire stick compartment. You'll notice that it's connected. It's, it's actually covered. I have it exposed so you guys can see what it looks like. But it also has a power USB cable that is also in this compartment. So you don't have to have something... Uh, from the outside going in there. And this covers up with a little cover. You also have two HDMI ports. One supports eARC and then you have an extra one. So if you want to have an audio system as well as let's say a PlayStation, you'll be able to do that. You have an audio port, an ethernet port, USB port, and then you have optical out and then you have a service port. Now, as you can see on our setup, we have a 120 inch elite screen. It is an ALR screen. And you'll notice that the projector is no more than a few inches from the wall. If you take a closer look, it's just over 11 inches over from the wall, uh, just close to 13 actually. And that's all you need. And you're getting a 120 inch screen. Now, the further you are from the wall, the larger the screen's going to be. But in my case, based on my furniture height, this is all I need to get 120 inches. Now on the side of the projector, you're going to notice that you do have an extra USB port as well as those adjustment legs that we mentioned earlier. Now, for those of you who are curious about the overall loudness that comes from this projector, this projector is really, really quiet. As you can see here, that the decibel ratings are very, very low. I'm going to stay quiet so you can see how much white noise um, it's creating. Now, keep in mind that I do have uh, central air running in my house, so there's a little white noise just there. But you'll notice that the white noise plus the projector is going to be whisper quiet. Now, as we mentioned, the unit does come with a Amazon Fire TV stick, um, and it's the 4K version. And it's really going to give you the ability to take advantage of the spectacular image quality uh, coming from this platform, in addition to Dolby Audio and Dolby Vision. Now, this is absolutely an amazing view. I have never really seen any of my Fire Sticks, for that matter, look this good. It's absolutely stunning. Now, the first thing we'll take a look at is going to be the image area. And in the image area, you'll be able to configure uh, several viewing modes, sports mode, movie modes, game modes. And then you have the user defined mode, which is going to allow you to configure the uh, actual quality to your liking if you want to change something. I'm using the default mode and I found that it's fine, but I know a lot of people like changing this. Now, unfortunately, uh, the cameras that we're using to shoot this are not going to be able to capture the 3D content. But I will tell you, we've been watching movies on this. We've been using the glasses and it's amazing just as the overall image quality has been to date with this projector. Now, as we go into the sound here, there's a couple of things that you can do here. Again, these are optional areas that you can modify. I just want to show you some of the flexibility you have. You can go into this area to really choose how you want your audio to come out of the platform. So if you're, for example, just going to use this as a home theater solution, just all in one, and you don't have a sound bar or any type of external system, you can use it. Or what you could do is choose your output here uh, to have the output of the audio going to the eARC as I do. Now let's take a look at my NVIDIA Shield. I've connected it to it and I've configured it to support Dolby Vision. As soon as I uh, plugged it into the AWOL, it basically immediately said, would you like to watch things in Dolby Vision, which I did. And uh, again, I'll highlight just the overall crisp, uh, the colors, this thing is super vivid. It's bright. Just love the way this looks. It's, it's eye candy for sure. 
Now let's take a look at some content that's really going to highlight the overall quality coming from this projector. This is amazing. It is so crispy. It is so clean. And even close up, coming into this in an angle, you can see how much detail there is there. This is what I'm talking about. This is why Nell and I are watching our favorite shows over and over again because of how good this quality looks, even this close up. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.